Thank you and good morning with, uh, to the listeners out there. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. So, you were telling me you've seen 18 of these addresses. This is your number 18. This is my number 18 wow. State of the Nation address. And it's really exciting and it has been a lot of experience yeah. that one has gained really. From uh, our first president, Comrade Nelson Mandela, to Comrade Tabumbegi, now Comrade Jacob Zuma. Yeah. All three presidents. Is there a favorite state of, state of the nation address for you? Is there a one that stands out in your mind? Well, all the one that stands out out of all of them is the first state of the nation address in uh, 1994 when we were all gathered here and uh, former comrade nelson mandela the president former comrade nelson mandela gave delivered his first state of the nation address the world was overwhelming the members of parliament were so happy and it was exciting to all of us to see that part of democracy that has been delivered by the people of south africa and all jointly black and white. Yeah. It was so exciting even getting in the doors of this parliament and chatting the way forward for our people in this country. Any international guests we can expect today? Well, we're just expecting what I know is that uh, Speaker Moyo of Zimbabwe will be coming as a chairperson of SADC, will be visiting us. Uh, however, we have other visitors that are coming from home. The former president F.W. de Klerk will be coming, former uh, deputy president Balagambete, former speaker Dr. Ginola will also be gen joining us, former chief justice Pius Langa will be joining us as well. Talk a little bit about the shift from doing the address at 11 in the morning to 7 p.m. in the evening. What was the significance of it and is that objective being realized? Well, I think this is very, very, very significant. Um, 11 o'clock, a lot of people are at work, they don't have time to listen to the president talking. But uh, we decided 2009 that the uh, president decided that perhaps we should have the State of the Nation address in the evening. And this basically was to allow those people who are at work to reach home. And everybody can sit right in their dining room or TV rooms and watch the uh, State of the Nation address because this is an extraordinary session mm -hmm. where the president addresses the citizens of the country. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the president actually says what has he achieved domestically and internationally, yeah. gives a report of the previous year to the nation, and at the same time, the president would say, what can we do yeah. to achieve more better things yeah. to make the lives of our people better therefore everybody is out there listening and the screens are out there even in the big, bigger areas of Soweto, uh, Eteguini and all those areas even in the rural areas where there are big shopping complexes yes. people are relaxed they seek there. to be as inclusive as possible uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this objective has been achieved and we have been getting a feedback from the people and they are very happy about it okay. that we actually change it to the evening. All right. I, I just want to get a little bit pedantic. I mean, is it really a state of the nation or is it really the, the, the nation as the president see it, sees it or the country as the president sees it, as it were? No, it, it is the state of the nation. <laughs> it is the state of the nation address yeah. uh, where we say, here's the president given a chance yeah. talking to every one of us. Yeah. It's unlike when the president addresses parliament yes. just alone. Yeah. Nobody can see the president yeah. all the time. But this time, everybody goes out. Yeah. But they I get the state listen. of the nation speaks to, this is the nation as we are. Yes. Now, the president does not give that particular position, does he? He gives the, the, the nation as the president sees it. Uh, Yes, it's quite correct. You're quite right. In in that in that way, you're quite yeah. right. The president gives the nation yeah. the the address that he sees it as to yeah. be. It is for us to comment yeah. on yeah. what the president yeah. has been saying yeah. and what is our understanding yeah. out of the president has said. Okay. Are you you're excited right. about number eighteen, though? Very, very excited. Oh, okay. No problem about All it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Chairperson of the National Council of Provinces is Ninwa Matlangu. You may not even agree with it, but uh, it's really not the state of that nation. It's the nation or the state of the country as the president sees it. No, but that's